Let's talk now about the Amcrest camera, starting with the diagram. I like to show everything before I show the camera so you can understand better what's going on, okay? So here what I have is the camera, it's an Amcrest camera, and here's the IP 192.168.0.105. And the camera is connected to a switch. It's a PoE switch and here I have a PoE port that sends power to the camera using a UTP cable. And I also have my laptop connected to the switch. Here is, non, is a non-PoE port, okay, because I don't need to send power to the uh, laptop. And here my P is 192.168.0.161. As you can see here, they are in the same network. Uh, the final here is 105 and the final here is 161. So they are sharing resources in the same network, okay? So when I have an IP here in the camera, I can test it. I can send a ping from the laptop to the camera if the camera responds because the camera is working. So it's a basic diagram here, but I need to test first. So I just come here and I type CMD. That's for a common prompt. And I click here and I open this common prompt, okay? So let me just adjust this so you can see it better. And here, what I can do is first check my IP, meaning the laptop's IP, right? So I can type IP config and then I hit enter. Uh, okay, let me type again. I made a mistake here, IP config. Here we go, okay? So what I see here is that there is an Ethernet inter interface, okay? Here's the IP, 192.168.0.161. That's my laptop. But there are also different interfaces here. I see LAN adapter, LAN local area adapter, things like that. I don't want that, okay? Uh, to make sure that I have only one connection here for my tests and setup, I need to disable the other interfaces, okay? Because a laptop has more than one interface. Here's a wireless interface and an Ethernet inter interface, okay? So I will come here to the network, right click, open network internet settings. You can also go through the control panel and come here to network, okay? So here, Ethernet. And I click here, change adapter option. And here I see different interfaces, right? I have the Wi-Fi, I have virtual interfaces that I use for testing. So I need to disable all of them. And I'm going to disable now the Wi-Fi interface. And the only one that should be enabled is the Ethernet. Okay, so let me just check now again. So here, now I type CLS to clean the screen and again IP config. Okay, I'm using the arrow arrow keys to bring again uh, the last commands. Okay, so I hit enter here and now as you can see I have only one interface the Ethernet adapter and here's the IP and that's the one I'm using here. So now I'm sure there's no other interface. I can reach the camera directly. There's no Wi-Fi because sometimes the computer gets confused because it tries to use Wi-Fi and also has a Ethernet connection. It gets confused. It's not the case anymore. So I would just test the camera now, send a ping. So I type here, ping space 192.168.0.105. Space minus T. Okay, so basically, from my computer, I sending a ping to the IP camera. If the IP camera receives receives the ping, it's going to respond back. Okay, so minus T is just to keep pinging all the time. Okay, so I hit enter, and I see the results. I'm getting a response from the camera. A reply from the camera's IP. Right. And here it says the time of the ping, one millisecond or less than one millisecond is fast because it's directly connected here. Okay, so it's working. If you get a different response here, it's because it's not working. You should get a response from the camera or the device that's connected here and the time that's responding. Okay, so it's working. Just Control C to stop this. And now 
I can use a web browser to connect to the camera. Why? Because the camera has internal servers here, the web, web server that responds to web browsers like Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer. Okay, so basically I can open my Google Chrome and type the camera's IP address here. Here we go. One. So 192.168.0.105. Then I hit enter. And here we go. I have the camera's interface. And then I type here the password. Here we go. It's different for every camera. You need to check the manual. And here we go. Logging. And it's done. I have the image from the camera. So this is the basic manual that I have here. And I can also test with other browsers. I can see here I'm using Google Chrome, but I can also use Internet Explorer. Let me just click here, Internet Explorer. And let me try do the same thing here. 192.168.0.105. Here we go. I have it. And as you can see here, it's asking if I allow to use ActiveX control. ActiveX is to use dynamic stuff. So basically I have to accept and then brings this prompt. For some reason it, it, take, it takes longer to respond. Now let me just type the password here again. Here we go. Logging. And as you can see here, I have a different situation here. Look again, here the Google Chrome and here with the Internet Explorer. I see some things on the screen. Those are camera analytics that I was testing before. You have different buttons here. So guys, with different browsers, you can have different results. Sometimes it doesn't work with one browser. You can use other one okay so ActiveX is enabled to show this dynamic stuff here on the screen it that for some reason that doesn't work with google chrome okay but i can use google chrome for everything else other than dynamic stuff or other than the analytics configuration okay so that's the basics to have access to the camera and in the next video we're going to explore more details